Okay. This is, um... This is Pinball Dreams. Uh, I've played this before. All we're doing, uh, is getting our name on the scoreboard. So you'll see the high scores. One of them is, uh, what is that? Five million. And it is, it is nigh impossible to get five million. I have save stated this game. I have done the same shots over and over again. And you just can't do it. So, pay up. My services, my protection fees cost. Hopefully I can catch like a, a murder or something out there. So just like uh just like pinball, I got I got screwed there. If you start getting something going in this game, the RNG will just shove it down the hole. And you could say, no, it's a physics-based game. It's pinball. It ain't physics-based at all. I've been I've been through this game enough times to know. Physics, this game is not. Uh, so there's uh, four tables in this game. The music in it is quite nice, actually. It's quite palatable. Pal palatable? Pal palpable? But I think I have to get... I think I have to get a few more points to hit the high score in this one, and then I can switch over to the next one. And, I mean, I've gotten really, really close. I think the most I've ever gotten is, like, 3.5 million. But it's still nowhere close. So, I'm just going to see if this got me the high score. So, like, right there. Um, yay! Um, quit. Yes. Steel will. This one will be done and over with real quick, and then I'll be on to the other pinball game. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> this is Banjo Kazooie. Yo! One million points! Damn it. This game hands out a million points like crazy. Too bad the high score is like, what, four times that of the other game. I think a funny, the funny run for this should probably be uh, getting a, getting a high score as fast as possible because the trick would come from trying to get the high score and then getting rid of all your balls as fast as possible. Oh god, I almost got it out of that. I don't think that's enough to get a high score, but it could have been. Yeah, wasn't even enough to get the high score in that one. That was terrible. <laughs> I think what I think we're making some uh ah oh, damn Making some pizza little bite thingies right now. Our homemade uh, pizza rolls. Pizza rolls are too pricey these days. Much better. Ooh, look at that truck. Much better if you just make them yourself with like a buttery croissant roll and just shove all the stuff inside of it and then bake that. 
We could probably make our own dough, actually. Don't you think we should try that? Making our own dough. We can try and make pasta tonight if you want. Start the timer. Boom! Food timer. Food timer is going. Oh yeah, we'd have to, we need a roller or a pasta. We could go buy a pasta thing today, actually. A pasta roller. Cooking stream. You really want a cooking stream. I don't know why. I, I just don't see it. I just, I guess I just don't, I can't imagine people that would want to watch me do this type of stuff would want to watch me uh, make some shit food. Give me that jackpot. Give me that jack, extra ball. I guess that's just me though. It's not like I watch myself. I don't watch myself. Helps. Helps the stream grow gr strong bones, right? <laughs> I agree. I want to do it. I gotta find a I gotta find a specific thing that I want to do first. So if I do this, I think I need to show a I need to show how to make your own pasta, but I also have to have it already ready so that uh, I can just cook with it afterwards. But because when you make your own pasta, you have to let it set and you wrap it in. Ooh, you wrap it in uh, saran wrap, and then you put it in the fridge. And you don't want to cook with it right away. Is this not a high score either? Oh, jeez. This is going to be a pretty high, hard high score to get. There's a cool one mil. I just put the cheese in this time. I didn't put the sauce in them. Oh, so we can just dunk them? Okay. I figure if we go if we go to Walmart today, uh, we can get a pasta roller. I can get soda. I can look for rice flour so I can show people how to make uh, chow mein, like proper chow mein noodle. Or is that that's what I need, right? Rice flour? Or do I need egg? What did I? What do I need? I think I have to mix rice flour with egg to make a chow mein noodle. I think that's how you do it. Cool. We can we can get a lot of fancy stuff. What's the cooking? If I go to Walmart, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to hurt myself, so don't go. God damn it. That's literally the only store we have around here, though, sadly. Is everything else closes so early. And, like, if it's family-owned, it closes at, like, five. If it's family-owned, they give their money to, like, anti-abortion agencies around here. Actually, yeah. And I'm not saying, yo, everybody go have unprotected sex and get abortions. I'm just saying I don't I don't agree with a lot of the practices. Oh, he said Target all day. We don't the Target is I love Target actually. So I'm with you on that, but the closest Target is forty five minutes from us. Yeah. So we pretty much have to leave for like two hours just to go to Target. Mm-hmm. And what stinks is I actually, like, I don't normally go to Target, but you've kind of converted me to the cleanliness of Target. Like, the store is so clean in comparison. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a little overpriced, but I used to live right down the road from a Target, so I would just go to Target all the time. I'm all about anti-abortion. Oh, that's why... Well, you didn't say how you were going to hurt yourself. Wait, There's many ways. Uh, Dang it. He's all about anti-abortion. I hate babies. So you want them to be born so you can... Fucking kids always sucking up my Pepsi. Exactly. Target is nice. Yeah. Yeah, Target is nice. Uh, but unfortunately, we live really far from Target. Sorry, I'm poor. I can't afford to go to Target. God. Maybe eventually they'll have one. Like the biggest store we have is probably Target or er, um, Walmart. We have some weird like clothing store called the Yankers or whatever. Nah, I don't want to quit. I order my gaming munches munchies off of Amazon though. See, that's that's what I was that's what I was gonna do. That's what I was gonna do. Hold on, I just realized, I don't think I'm getting that one million points. Am I? Oh, I am getting it. Is that gonna give me two mil? I did, that gave me two mil. God damn it! Wait, why do you wanna play again? I'm confused. I guess I gotta learn this this uh, table. Target workers have big butts, and you can't deny. What our target is? Our target is like nice, nice, like gourmet target. I don't know if that's such a thing. But it's pretty gourmet as far as a a department store can go. It certainly ain't Kmart. When's the last time anybody's even seen a Kmart? Do those exist anymore? Or are they just like shell like shell businesses? Starbucks coffee and a Pizza Hut? I got the wagon rolling. I don't know what any of this stuff is doing, but I'm doing good. They're done already? No. Oh. I just saw Yummy, and I thought... I thought somebody said yummy to flat butts. Have big butts. What are you talking about? I don't know. Apparently, Target workers got big butts. We do have a Starbucks and a Pizza Hut. <laughs> These are flat butts. At Kohl's, I worked at Kohl's. <laughs> Must have flat butt. Kmart isn't bad. Kmart's all closed around here. Kmart isn't bad. Where are you where Kmart is not not bad? It's still in existence. That it's still in existence. Yo, this is yeah, this is still Wild Guns. No, this isn't. This is Pinball Dreams. Uh this is track. This is Pinball Track 2. Kmart is a waste, wasteland. I, I'm gonna be honest. I remember when I was a kid stealing from Walmart. They made it too easy. They pretty much said, "Here's some shit. Do you want it?" Walmart? No, Kmart. Kmart. You go to Kmart, it looks like a bomb went off. Yeah, it's like barren there because they don't have anything. Like my parents mm. went there for um, this Christmas tree for our second Christmas tree. Apparently, we needed to, and. That was the only thing that was there because it was on sale. They were having like a sale and they were like, oh, we have a bunch of trees and that was it, pretty much. I can play Sunset Riders after I do my two pinball games. Pinball Public Section Camera? Oh, not 
here because they're all closed down. <laughs> and urinate at the checkout line. What the fuck? I think that probably happens at Walmart too. That's gross. And all right. Just this and that was just this morning. I just caught that. You said it, but all right, there we go. That's high score on that one. Do you guys actually have Kmart by you then? Because I thought they all were closed. Now I gotta do beatbox. Give me ass. Vidiots. Vidiots is fun. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty accepting of game. I'm pretty accepting of game. Oh, look at this one. People always stealing at the dollars. Uh, no, I don't steal stuff from a dollar store. I don't steal stuff anymore when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I didn't know better. Kids don't really know. I was, everybody was a kid once. Your mom wouldn't buy you something, so you walk out of the store with it. Uh, and nobody nobody bats an eye and either your mom figures out that you took it and takes you back to the store and Makes you say I'm sorry. I took this and You know oh, it's that's embarrassing I had to go say I had first off I had to go give it back and then oh geez I wasn't a kid, I was a grown ass man. You feel bad for not paying for people's hard work? See, but if you steal from Walmart, you could care less. And you gotta have the same sentiment about everything. Uh, people, people all around the world. I steal adult films. <laughs> Oh, here's, I'm a, I'm a speak some, some terrible, terrible truths. You can say, you can say you want to, you want to give, give people a, a fair dollar for their, their hard work, but then wait until Somebody comes around and like, we want to build a new Walmart where your your house is. We're going to give you $10,000 for your house. And then you're like, no, my house is worth way more than that. And then they tear down your house and don't give you anything because they went to the government and paid the government uh, more money than they even offered you just to tear down your house just to spite you. And then tell me that the stealing is, is wrong. Get what you give to everyone. Hey! You have a compiler website that links you all. <laughs> yeah. So it's kinda like maybe they've never maybe they've never wronged you. Oh wait, I don't want to start a new game. Quit. That's a high score on that one. Maybe they've never wronged you, maybe they've never wronged me, and I'm not running around... <laughs> I'm not running around stealing. But I'm just saying, if anybody came up to me and was just like, I just stole a bunch of shit from, from Walmart, I'd be like, man, I don't care, but... Why are you telling me you just stole a bunch of shit from Walmart again? Unless they were like one of those cool dudes that like made off with like a heist. Cause that's the thing is, oh yeah, stealing ain't cool. You know, some people say that at all. They'll be like, but all these people's jobs, nobody loses their job over a kid running in and stealing a candy bar or something. There's no reason. I've heard of stories of people stealing from Walmart, like little kids, and then they'll still like try and press charges against the parents or something. Because they brought the kid back and made him like apologize and give it back. I've heard stories about that stuff. It's like, what the hell is going on nowadays? You don't teach a kid, you don't teach a kid morals doing that. This is way off topic. I'm just, I'm just ragging on 
I'm just ragging on Walmart now. You got me angry at Walmart for no reason. I don't even hate Walmart that much, but I do hate them a lot. Look at this. Killer points. <laughs> they put your picture in the wall of shame. Yo, I think we might have the high score on this one. First try. Ball lock enabled. Yo, I used to know... <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at those points. Oh my god. We got the high score for sure. Stored stiff. Yeah. That's right, stored stiff. Now, what you're actually teaching them is, if you get away with it, don't say anything. You get your picture put on a wall of shame. It's like when you eat a burger at a, at a gourmet burger place and they have like the holy crap ghost pepper reaper carolina pepper burger with pizza sauce and everything on it and then you don't eat it and they put you on the wall of shame. I had blood in my stool for three days after eating this burger and all I got was this shitty t-shirt. Didn't you used to have a pizza, a pizza burger where you used to work? A pizza yeah, yeah, it had like mozzarella sticks on it or something. Yeah, it was something. But if I ordered it, you would totally get me one. If if I were to come in. What? All it needs is the mozzarella and then the the dipping sauce and a burger. I guess I don't actually know what was on it. Um, that was one of the most popular. I remember. One person still came in and ordered it, and I was like, I can't make that. And she was like, yeah, you can. You just don't put this on it. And I was like, damn you. Okay, I didn't realize you worked here. Oh, I didn't realize that you were such a bitch to these really nice customers that just want their mozzarella. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Maybe she did work there. You know I'm in the same boat as you. Oh my goodness. I'm just sticking up for the poor lady that she just wanted her mozzarella cheese stick burger because now I want one. I'm not bitching. <laughs> I'm not bitching. I'm just fighting for people's rights to have a mozzarella cheese stick burger. Well, would you... Here's here's the question. Would you rather someone give you ah oh, damn it. Give you like a smug look and be like, mmm, that's right. I just ordered mozzarella sticks, a bun, and a burger. I'm just making you so mad today. My jokes are just too spicy. There you go. There's all four high score. The food industry is a hard one. See, people know that you, I'm not. You gotta. She wants mozzarella sticks and a damn snowman. Do you want? Just give her that award winning smile. Hey, Lee. No, it didn't work. I'm just. I'm out of here.
for real though. Uh, I'm moving on to the next pinball game. Uh, same thing, gonna get on the high scoreboard. On all the pinball thingies. And that'll take care of pinball games. There's Pinball Dreams, Pinball Fantasies, and Pink Panther goes to Pink Hollywood. Oh, thank you. Hello, peeps. I'm so, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Scratch that. I gotta go. I'm done. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> 